are going to make Oaxaca style refried beans. And they're so delicious, like everything in this breakfast. I have a pound of beans, and I'm just gonna put them straight into this pot. I already rinsed them and drained them. Cut one white onion in half. I'm gonna throw it in here. I'm gonna cover these generously with water. So now I'm gonna bring these to a rolling boil, and then I'm going to cover it reduce the heat too low, and cook it for about an hour or until the beans are completely soft. The beans are cooked. Mmm, they're sort of inky. They're super soft, but not seasoned yet. So add one tablespoon of salt. I like to add the salt at this stage, when the beans are already cooked and soft, because if you add the salt too early, you can toughen the beans and make it harder for them to cook fast. Then I'm gonna add a couple sprigs of fresh epazote. The combination of black beans and epazote is as classic as classic goes for Mexico. Now they're just gonna cook for like 10 more minutes. Turn off the beans because they've cooked enough. I'm gonna remove the sprigs of epazote. And if I can fish the onion, I'm also gonna fish it out. So I'm gonna season my beans with avocado leaves and chile de arbol. I have my comal here preheated over low to low medium heat. Now we all know and love avocados, but avocado leaves, they're incredible. You can buy them dried in packs and they smell just a little grassy, but when you toast them, they become really, really fragrant, and the taste is incredible. A little bit like licorice, but very light and very herby. So I have the chiles de arbol, and I'm just removing the stem. I don't want my leaves to burn. Oh, I can smell the avocado leaf fragrance. And the chiles, they're feisty. Okay, so removing these from here. Chile. Add the cooked beans into a blender. Plus like one and a half cups of the cooking broth. Now I'm adding the chiles that I toasted and the avocado leaf. While these beans cool a little bit, I'm going to chop a half a cup of onion to season those beans a little bit more. The secret to really good homemade beans is to not be afraid of making home-cooked beans. And because we're going full Oaxaca here, I'm using lard, two tablespoons, but you could use oil, you could use butter. I have my pot over medium heat. Once the lard is all melted, we're going to add the onion, but we don't want a mediocre sizzle in there when we add the onion. We want the onion to react. That's the sizzle we want. While that onion softens, I'm gonna puree these beans, but I'm gonna leave them a little bit chunky so they have that refried bean feel. So I can still see the chunks of beans in there. Just a little bit more. You know, those 15 seconds extra that you give the onion to brown a little around the edges, it's gonna have that flavor in the beans. It's gonna be deeper, it's gonna be more pronounced. Mmm. Gonna pour the beans in there. You can make your refried beans as thick as you want. Some people like them mashed potato thick. I like them a little bit softer. So it's gonna be like 10 minutes or so. Now let me taste for seasoning. Mmm, 